But let's now move on to the next area to configure, which is privacy. This is where you'd be taken if you just clicked on privacy settings. This is split into two sections as shown on the window. Who can see my stuff and who can look me up? Who can see my stuff? Who can see your future posts? This is everything that you write on your wall area, on your personal account. And straight away you notice that it's actually set to public by default. Now, that means that even if somebody hasn't become your Facebook friend, you haven't approved the person, they can still see the information that you post on your wall. Which may be fine if you choose to do a public post, but in most circumstances it's better to change the default to friends. So you click on edit, click on the drop down and select friends. As I say, you can adjust it. This is future post. This is the default option. But when you type on your wall, you can select from the drop down any time. If there's something you do want to make public or to a specific group of friends, even you can do that. The next thing you can see is review all your posts and things you're tagged in. Use activity log. So this is really just one central console where you can just take a look through everything that you've put on the wall, comments made by other people, people that have liked your page, interacted with you, etc. It's just a useful reference point to go through things. And if you look at the next option in the list, limit the audience for posts you've shared with friends in the past, so limit past posts. If you have been on there a while, it may be a good idea to retrospectively change the privacy to a more secure setting. So in the section, who can look me up, it's set to who can look up by email address or phone number provided. Everyone would certainly suggest you limit that but at the very minimum. Just friends can search for that. And do you want other search engines to link to your timeline is already off. So we can leave that set.